Hey YouTube, Copersan here. Over the last few weeks we've gotten a preview of the remastered Explorer classes. We're now a few updates further in the test server and classes are getting a lot closer to what they would look like once they're actually released. So for the next 5 videos we're checking out all Explorer class branches one more time for their close to final if not final changes. We're still in the test server so nothing is 100% confirmed but usually this close to release those changes are mostly final. Just as a reminder this update will most likely be released in about 6 months from now in MapleStory Global and MapleStory C and today we're checking out all 3 Explorer Warrior classes. We're starting off with the Hero class, who last time we checked him out was dashing all over the map and looked really fun, but that was also kinda overpowered. Heroes no longer use any combo orbs, which also meant they lost some of their final damage buffs when they used World Reaver, that 5th job skill, and since then quite a few balance changes have been made to make up for that lost final damage, so that seems to be mostly back there. But also adjustments were made to their crazy dashing this class could do. The second job dash skill has gotten a 4 second cooldown. So gone are the days where heroes had better mobility than most other classes in the game. I think this ability was a little bit overpowered as well, but I would have loved it personally if the developers went for something like having 3 charges and those recover over time like 1 charge every 4 seconds. That way it would still feel great, but the skill wouldn't replace your other skills like it did the first time we checked it out. The new skill that replaces Puncture, that giant sword that comes down from the sky, now has a cooldown of 8 seconds, so you cannot spam that anymore either, which is too bad because it looked kinda cool, but the duration of the debuff the skill leaves has been doubled though, so that's kinda nice. The old skill Puncture consumed combo orb so you couldn't spam that indefinite either but eight seconds does feel quite harsh in the latest test server update your raging blow skill that enhanced version the attack range for that skill was slightly decreased nexon doesn't actually tell in their test server update notes by how much it just says range slightly decreased so that was pretty unclear i myself didn't notice anything major compared to last time when i played that class it still feels good to use and mobbing is still greatly improved on this class the duration of the new scarring sword debuff was increased from 80 seconds to 200 seconds and self recovery was buffed to now recover four percent hp and mp every four seconds instead of the flat amount of hp and mp it healed before and a ton of values got changed for their Valhalla hyper skill removing a line of damage but increasing the damage of the remaining hits the hero class isn't as crazy mobile anymore as when we checked them out earlier, but still the class got some great buffs in their grinding in my opinion. They also don't lose out on any final damage anymore due to their combo orbs being consumed by some of their skills all the time. So that's pretty nice as well. Next up is the Holy Warrior Paladin, who lost all their elements in favor of a more Holy Knight team. As we all know, Paladin is the best class in the entire game, but I'm also glad they're getting even more damage and more range added to their attacks. Quick refresher, so high level Paladins now only use their Holy Charge skill when they get the third job for grinding. This skill gets a passive buff in fourth job and two explosions will occur every now and then for better mobbing. The elemental system was removed and Paladins now get similar stacks for using their Holy Attack. Their Blast now looks pretty epic and leaves a stacking debuff that explodes after reaching 5 stacks for additional damage. Low damage was always an issue for the Paladin, so this additional attack is a great way to boost their bossing. Over the last few weeks, Paladins have gotten even more buffs and convenient changes, with the range for their bossing skill Blast being increased even more, and this skill now hits 3 monsters instead of 1. The duration of the stacking debuff that explodes was increased for more convenience and now lasts for a whooping 30 seconds, so within that 30 seconds you need to hit the monster 5 times for the Blast explosion to occur. The enhancement your main mobbing attack, Divine Charge, gets in 4 job that passive buff that also increased the attack range and the damage, but that attack range increase was buffed even more now, not by anything crazy but just enough that you notice it but the buffs don't end there for my boy paladin the attack range from the explosion your divine charge leaves has been buffed as well for even better mobbing and their fifth job key down skill grand cross now deals more damage but lasts shorter so paladins can unload their burst just a bit faster which is nice because when using this attack paladins are grounded and cannot jump away from incoming damage even though the skill does reduce incoming damage it still could be dangerous to use it sometimes the fifth job skill holy unity that one that bonds paladins with an Another player has had its duration and cooldown halved and the skill is now easier to use. Paladins can press the skill button again to switch between party members and the skill will favor the party member that was bonded previously in longer fights. Visually there were a few changes as well. The big hammer skill sanctuary now is even flashier. Just what we needed. More explosions and particles and the skill icons themselves got buffed and it's now easier to see which one is which. I was kind of struggling with this one as well. Overall I would say Paladins are actually one of the bigger winners this update with big improvements to their mobile bossing and overall damage. 
And last up are the Dark Knight. For a quick refresher, the Dark Knight now has different toggles for their revive skill, so they can choose shorter invincibility frames, but also have lower cooldowns and require less monsters to be defeated. The Dark Knights also receive new animations and slightly bigger hitboxes for their skills. Their bossing skill, Gunnir's Descent, can now be spammed without a cooldown and hits 3 enemies. Over the last few updates, changes were made to their reincarnation skill. The middle one used to give 20 seconds of invincibility, but this was lowered to 8 seconds. Also, the monsters that you need to defeat to reduce the cooldown was decreased. If you use the 2 second iframe option, you'll need to defeat 24 monsters to reduce the cooldown from 180 seconds to 70 seconds. If you use the 8 second iframe, you'll need to defeat 44 monsters monsters to reduce the cooldown from 260 seconds to 80 seconds and if you use the 40 second iframe you'll now need to defeat 52 monsters to reduce the cooldown from 900 seconds to 300 seconds. Their Dark Resonance skill was buffed and now increases final damage by 10% when active, but their Reincarnation Passive Hyper skill that increases final damage by 30% when the Reincarnation skill was active has been changed. Instead, the skill will now give 5% final damage always, regardless of if the Reincarnation effect is active or not. So I think they just moved some values around, not quite sure if this is a buff or a nerf, but uh, hey, time will tell. Also your third job mobbing skill, La Marcia Spear, and the fourth job mobbing skill, Dark and Pale, uh, have had their lower attack range slightly increased. That way if you jump over smaller monsters when using those skills, you'll still hit them. And the biggest buff out of all is that the Beholder now has a toggle skill, so you no longer need to worry about casting that again. No more skill consumes the Beholder either, so he can just chill around you forever now. And this Vigil skill Pierce Cyclone got buffed as well. The key down attack damage was increased from 800% to 960%. Besides that and some minor visual changes, nothing too big happened for the Dark Knight. This update will be released 8 days from now when this video goes live in the MapleStory Korea server, so I'm not expecting too many big changes anymore. What do you think about all the warriors getting remastered like this? Let me know in the comments. And that was all for today. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Safronix, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, BeamerWT, KnifeSu, Chem125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy11, Sirtito655, Glazen, Brennan Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Lucky Beats, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heopan, Simak, Striker Elk, NokemSS, Niu, Tidal One Pun, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Stunny Slounge Kusumo Vegas, Riser Are You, Eddie Reacts to Things, Dular, Gummy Bullet, Mr. Inark, Lovebird, Ref Soli, Ruski TV, Yo Mama, Matthias Simonson, Caveman, oh yeah, Galando Belavia, I'm Disappointed, my name is Coppersan and I'm super cute XOXO, Clap for the Moment, PC Game Life, Max Bernhardt and Cakeshot. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe and happy mapling!